So I'm not sure how much you can see from that, um, but it is a red and black ombre drip cake and it's got ghost of, I don't know how to say it, I think it's Tashima, Tashima? Tashimi? I'm not really sure. <laughs> don't hate me, but um, yeah, it's all ready to go. It's on a covered board, which has his name on it. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love that cake. Um, so we've got two of the boxes out currently. These are for the brownies, so I've prepped those. Um, as you can see, tissue paper and stuff. I need to prep two, three more of these um, little hammers, which are for the cake hearts. Um, these are the brownie toppings that I was using. That's for the cake pops. This is for the cupcakes. There's my list, um, which still looks very long. Um, cake pop molds. And yeah, there's my order books and my diary. So we are going to tackle this now, which doesn't actually look too bad. Look how horrible that is. That's because I spilt um, brownie mix on the counter, so I had to try and wipe it up. And then there's just some normal um, like dinner dishes. So that's not mine, so I'm going to move that to one side. That is some washing up that I've already done, so that's all done. But yeah, we're going to tackle this section here. Lots of food colouring, icing bags, which I'm trying to avoid washing up because they're a pain. But yeah, I'll put you on time lapse and that's what we're going to do now. um for today anyway so it's 10 45 and i'm sat on the floor because my phone died so it's currently on charge and it is charging so slow because my charge is like half hanging off basically so i'm sat on the floor because it's currently on charge um but we finished the geo heart and all the cake pops for it i couldn't bake the cupcakes because our egg hatch so we have our own hens and we, they have a shed and a pen connected to it, like an indoor pen, and then the indoor pen leads to an outdoor pen so that we can, like, if we want to keep them indoors one day, then we can, and if we want to let them out, then we can, and then at night they go into the shed so that they're, like, safe. But the shed has a little slidey door which allows you to get to the little trays where their eggs are, like where they lay their eggs. And because it's been so cold and rainy and snowy, um, this morning we went out there and it was frozen, so um, I was meant to go out there at like four and take like some kind of tool, like a screwdriver or something to try and pry it open. And I forgot, and now it's dark, so I forgot that I had used all my store-bought eggs because I did buy some. Um, I'd used all my store-bought eggs and not actually um, gone out there and got any more. So I just need two eggs 
so I don't need very many but um, I'm gonna go out there in the morning and try and pry it open um, so that hopefully I can then make these cupcakes in the morning. Um, they won't take very long, they're Biscoff cupcakes. Um, they've got little photo toppers going on them, but I won't show you those just in case the customer doesn't want you to see them. So I'll just show you them with the icing on the top and the sprinkles, just like a simple cupcake before I put the toppers on. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got to do in the morning. That will probably take me about an hour and a half, including all the baking. Um, which at that time I can do other things. I need to make another giant geo heart, which is for my sister. She wants that by like three, four, which again, it'll be done by midday. And then I've got to decorate some brownies. That is it. So a brownie tray and four brownies I've got to decorate, which again, so I should hopefully be done by 12 tomorrow um, because I'm getting up at like seven as usual, even though it's Saturday. Um, so I'm gonna be up early, so I mean I might have a lay-in because um, the first collection is done. So the person collected at 12, which is the Geo Heart, that's done. So I don't actually have to have anything ready um, until like 3 p.m. Um, and all the brownie trays, I said 3 p.m. onwards for collections. So I might lay in until maybe eight. We'll see. Um, I usually get up naturally anyway, so we will see, but it's just nice to finish before 12. Like I've been finishing at 12 like every day this week, which I am super grateful for because I've had a really great day today. I'm finished early. I'm literally like, I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Please try and ignore the fact that my eyes are watering. I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> so I'm, like so grateful because this week has been so amazing um, and like the end is near um, even though my back hurts and my ankles and my knees hurt from like standing like fellow bakers will know what this is but I'm just not I'm not used to having this many orders um, I'm usually like fairly busy but this week has been crazy and I wish every week was like this because it would be amazing um, and even busier than this I could fit in more than I did this week but um, I wanted to try it out because I'd never had a week this busy so um, it's still my busiest week ever but um, I wanted to give myself a little bit of leeway just in case things took me longer than um, I expect but I definitely could think that I could definitely take on more like I did three cakes today and I used to try and do one cake in a day like I would say to myself I don't want more than one cake in a day whereas I did three today and I honestly think I could do that regularly like I would happily do that over a weekend, like say nine cakes from Friday to Sunday, I'd happily do that. So um, it's definitely given me like the confidence to be like, right, I can do this. I can like take on this many orders and get it done. So yeah, I'm like proud of myself for getting it all done. And it's been so nice having like seeing everyone's reactions and um, everyone's been super grateful. The cakes that went today, like, the lady that took the two Valentine's cakes, she was really happy with them, so that was great. And I love them so much. So, um, and then I'm really excited to see my nephew's reaction because he is so sweet, and it's his 16th. And um, yeah, I just hope that he enjoys having like a nice, a nice cake for his birthday, like something special for his 16th. Because I mean, it is in lockdown, so. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what he thinks of it because I love it um, and I'm not even like into the game or anything and he loves the game so I think he's going to really love the cake um, and so will his like parents hopefully um, because yeah, it's super cool. I'm really excited about that so um, they're going to collect that tomorrow so that'll be exciting to see their reaction then I'll be posting it on my Instagram and everything so you guys would have seen it by the time this goes up. But yeah, so tomorrow I haven't got too much to do, which is nice. And then what I've done is I've postponed the postals, as I mentioned in the other vlog. So I've done it that they start on Tuesday so that I get um, Sunday off completely, which is going to be really nice. Um, so yeah, Sunday, just completely day off. Um, and then Monday I will be starting the postals again for Tuesday. I've already got a couple of orders for that um, and it's open for three more days so um, yeah we're probably gonna get more orders for Tuesday so that will be exciting again the postals are doing really well so I'm really grateful for that as well um, because everyone seems to be enjoying the fact that I do postals and like I'm getting really good reviews from it and feedback so I'm glad that I started doing that and again they've picked up so much 
like this month um not just for valentine's like before valentine's but kind of from the last week of january they've been going a bit crazy um so yeah i'm super grateful for that so yeah um the next thing which is next week um i've got two cakes next weekend but apart from the postals i don't have any midweek stuff which is because i wanted to keep it fairly free like if the odd last minute thing came up i would probably take it just because i can never say no um but i wanted to not sort of advertise that i was taking on orders next week because i have the postals which is busy enough um but i wanted to do a mother's day treat box so i need to kind of plan that out and bake the things for that so I wanted to spend the time doing that and taking photos and yeah I was going to do a treat box and also a postal tray same as I did for Valentine's so it will be posted the Tuesday before um, and then it will get there in time for Mother's Day if not a bit earlier um, so yeah I will be doing a Mother's Day postal um, Easter postals are already up um, just because they're simple whereas the Mother's Day one will be um, I'm thinking fondant flowers like just simple like 2d ones not anything um, you know like fancy sugar paste or anything like that um, just simple like 2d flowers instead of hearts so similar to if you saw the Valentine's ones it's like that but in the middle it will have happy Mother's Day because I bought an embosser which is so cute um, and then on the instead of the hearts it will be little flowers and it will be a bit more colourful rather than pink and red because pink and red is more like Valentine's-y so yeah and then there will be a blondie and a brownie um, same as Easter so those posters will be available so I need to do the treat box the treat box is going to have six different things in it uh, which I am very excited about. Um, I'm trying out two different things. Um, I'm trying out Rocky Road. So it's going to be Blondie, Rocky Road, Brownie, Cupcake, Cake Pop, um, which might be like a cake truffle rather than an actual cake pop because um, I like the truffles. And then I was thinking of doing um, either a cookie or like a cookie bar um, because I really want to try them and I've seen them going around so much and they look really cool but I think I might go for like the New York City cookies where they're like um, stuffed and gooey on the inside so um, yeah I wanted to have six different things in there because I thought that it would be cool and then I'm going to keep the flavour secret because it hasn't gone up yet um, but it is a treat box which you can kind of like when I say treat box you can guess what's going to be in it so I haven't given anything away there but I'm going to keep the flavour a secret because um, it's going to be a flavour theme and there's only going to be one box so it keeps so it keeps it easy for me because it will just be one box and I make it a thousand times um, so it keeps it simple no personalization in that sense you can put a message in but that's about it so yes that is the mother's day announcement so i'm excited for that um i'm also going to be making my mum one um so she'll get one as well she doesn't know it but when i told her about the mother's day box she was like oh that sounds lovely and i was like oh well you might be getting one um so yes i'll be making her one for mother's day or i'll just you know like make all of the orders but save her stuff so yes um and easter we're also doing treat boxes so um that will have blondie brownie cupcake um and then i think i was either gonna do two sizes like one medium and one small um and then the medium one i was thinking that i just do two of each so rather than six different things um the reason i was doing six different things for mother's day is one to try it out and two because i think for an individual eating it um which is going to be the mother usually um they they might like having six different things whereas if you are buying it for easter you might be buying it like for a family box so i thought if you have two of each then it means that if you're sharing it then you've each got the same or you can cut it into smaller portions and you've each got the same so like if you've got two kids you could cut it into four pieces and all share it whereas if you have one of each it's a bit difficult to cut them in half and share them so yeah that's why i was going to do a couple of things the same um less different things in the box um more like duplicates in the easter one because i thought it's more likely to be shared so yes ramble over um that is the end of this day um i'm not sure where i'm 
split in the vlog i'm kind of past it at this point um but i think i'll be including um tomorrow in this vlog just because tomorrow's gonna be very short because there's not much going on so um i will see you tomorrow i'm going to bed it's 10 55 and i can't wait to watch a bit of netflix because um i keep telling people i'm gonna watch virgin river and i haven't yet so i'm either gonna watch virgin river or unless i find something else i got addicted to um the world's toughest prisons um so it's like really i feel like it doesn't suit me so when i tell people that i'm watching it they're just like oh okay um but i'm loving it so i think it's just i'm really interested in it <laughs> i don't know why um but i just find it really like fascinating to watch it because obviously it's not something i know about so i just find it really interesting to watch so yes i'm probably gonna end up watching that judging by my um i think the problem with like new series is until you actually start it you don't know if you're gonna like it so virgin river because i haven't started it i don't know what i'm missing out on so i'm less likely to actually start watching it until i've been hooked on the first episode so yeah i'm gonna see what i end up watching um but i will see you in the morning for a less busy day more relaxing um and literally the last of valentine's and then valentine's will be over for another year um and then i can have a bottle of wine on um i think saturday night i'm probably gonna have a glass of wine maybe a few um because sunday i will need to wake up on monday for the postals whereas sunday um i don't think i've got any collections because the one that i was gonna allow to be collected on sunday i was gonna message her and say that it was already early so if she wants to come early then she can so she might say i'll come saturday um afternoon instead we'll see if she comes on sunday that's also fine but i'll still get a lay in because um i doubt she's gonna come at like 10 a.m so yes we will see but i will see you in the morning i'm gonna stop rambling because i'm tired and i'm going to bed bye i'll show you the cake heart because i was talking so much so i'm gonna turn you around and here it is here it is i love it so much there's two hammers there's marshmallows ferrero rocher there is four of them in there um she didn't ask for those nor did she ask for the marshmallows but i put them in there anyway there were no allergies so as far as i'm aware it's all fine being in there um there are three cake pops underneath this it's painted black and it's milk chocolate because as i said earlier my black colouring, I was just having issues with it, even though I use gel and chocolate all the time, even though everyone says use oil and chocolate, and I use it all the time, and it just wouldn't work. So I've had to paint this. So it is dry, and I'm hoping that it stays dry, um, and we don't have any issues with it. Um, I think it just transfers a little. So when I picked it up, it transferred slightly onto my hand, but not very much. So yeah, I'm hoping that it dries overnight and then we won't have any issues with it in the morning, um, but it's nice and black because I wanted it to be like jet black, like the photo that I was shown. So yeah, and then I can't show you the cake pops because they're in there and I don't really want to touch the cake pop, like the giant one. So um, you're gonna have to imagine what they look like. I might have a photo by the time this vlog goes up from the customer, so we'll see. But that is the cake heart, love it. There'll be another one tomorrow. guys so it's saturday the 13th so it's the day before valentine's day um my sister-in-law is coming to collect my nephew's cake um at some point this morning um i've got three collections today one for cupcakes which aren't made yet but that's all fine because i've done everything else um and then one for a cake heart which is in about an hour um and again that's already done i'll show you that in a minute um actually no i showed you that last night so you've seen that um it's the black and gold cake heart i'm gonna be making another one this afternoon for my sister um what else i'll be making the cupcakes in a minute um and then i need to go to the shop because i ran out of kinder hippos and someone did a last minute brownie order and i said yes and then i didn't realize i had the had run out of the kinder hippos so i need to go to the range and get those um we managed to get the eggs out 
Um, so they were like frozen, the little hatch where you get the eggs out was frozen, but we've managed to get them out. So I have eggs, so I can now make the cupcakes because that's what I was waiting for. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. I've decorated the brownies, um, which I will play after this. So you will see me decorating the brownies for this morning. The one that needs the Kinder Hippo, the way I do it is I just drizzle the chocolate on it. And then um, when I actually get the Kinder Hippos, then I'll drizzle a little bit more chocolate on to stick it on. But I've already done like the base drizzle, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna get them out of the fridge so that I can show you quickly. Um, and then we're gonna be on to cupcakes. So here's the Valentine's tray. So this is the last one. I had two local collections um, and then all the others were postals, which were done on Monday. So you would have already seen that. But yeah, I had two local ones. So she's coming to collect it. I think it's this evening, but I need to just confirm with her. So yeah, that is the last V-Day tray. And then here, I don't want to drop them. But here's the individual brownies. So as you can see, this one has drizzle on it. But what I'll do is I'll just stick the Kinder Hippos on top of that. So it means I can drizzle it at the same time as all the others, which is just a lot easier. Um, and they're already cut and everything. So I'll place them in the box and then it means when I get the last topping, I can put it on there. So that's nice and easy. But yeah, we're gonna move on to cupcakes now. The character cake is gone, uh, my sister-in-law collected that and then the giant cake heart is also gone so they're both done so we are almost over for Valentine's week. Um, I've got a collection at three, um, the cupcakes are baked as you can see. Um, so they're Biscoff cupcakes so they're baked, I'm literally just about to make the buttercream and it's half one, um, no it's half twelve, I've just gained an hour. Um, yeah, so it's half twelve, so that will take me probably about half an hour to do. Um, I've got a collection at one, they're both ready, the brownies that um, I mentioned before, they're both decorated and ready. So they are packaged up gift wrapped, so I've been putting um, ribbon around them, I'll see if I can show you in the fridge. There you go. Um, so they're both gift wrapped, again they're both ready, so all I have to do is decorate these cupcakes which will be done by one and then I'm starting on my sister's um, geo heart so I'm going to be making that that's changed slightly she changed the theme of it which I actually prefer because it'll be something different to what I was doing before um, so it was going to be a duplicate of the demo one that I did the red and white marble um, I don't know if I actually showed you that I think I did but I might not have and she's decided to go for after seeing earlier's one which was black with um, gold splatter. She wants a white with gold splatter and like gold leaf on it. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I think I'm meant to be writing love you on it, um, but I need to decide what color I'm gonna do that in. So if, if it's a white heart before it was gonna be red, um, like drizzle. So I need to decide what color I'm gonna do the drizzle. Um, but yeah, so that'll be a different one and that's the last thing i have to make like actually make whereas these cupcakes i just got to decorate so yeah um i'll show you when i'm decorating them i'm just going to make the buttercream first and then we'll start decorating the biscoff cupcakes and then they'll be ready for their collection later Like you got some of that bitch. Oh, I like it, man. Well, you can't have that. That's a boy. 